Atlas cannon is part of a bigger picture. The future combat system is designed to be flown to any trouble spot in the world. The army of the future has to be light and fast on its feet. That means heavyweight pieces like the field cannon have to be substantially lighter. Every ounce of weight that we can save by optimizing the design we're trying to do here. The Enlos cannon has to weigh in under 20 tons. That's half the weight of its nearest rival. They've achieved this by using rubber tracks, which are half the weight of conventional steel tracks, cutting back the barrel to a third of its normal size and using active defense systems in place of heavy armor. This active defense system uses a sophisticated set of sensors that allow it to see all around itself. A system which uh, has a 360 degree set of sensors senses the launch uh, of a rocket propelled grenade, a tank round, uh, a variety of munitions at the vehicle, locks onto it, tracks it, and then can either jam it if it's a guided missile or a guided weapon, or fire a projectile which will intercept it and blow the projectile out of the air before it hits the vehicle. When this system hits its target weight and size, it'll be able to fit in the back of a C-130 aircraft. Then it can be deployed anywhere in the world to any battlefield within a matter of hours. Once in place, the Enlos cannon can be ready to fire in just moments. When we're on the move and we receive a mission, um, the howitzer will stop and we can fire around within 30 seconds. It's not just the speed of deployment that makes the Enlos cannon special. Thanks to its powerful engine, it challenges other howitzers for the land speed record. It's not a weak engine. I mean, we can go about 55 miles an hour on, on a flat, hardball surface, and on tank trails, we can go upwards of 30, 35 miles an hour. That's fast. The Enlos Cannon is equipped with a powerful hybrid engine using both diesel and battery power. Diesel is used for dash, but the batteries are used for silent running when stealth is required. Just the engine with the battery power, combining those two, you get a very fast uh, dash speed capability. and also lets us operate the vehicle just on batteries, so in a stealth mode, uh, we can drive for about 20 minutes uh, with no engine on. How quiet is it? Um, well, if you're walking across the field, you wouldn't hear it sneak up behind you. But what makes the future combat system unique is that the whole system is built to be intelligent. All the military hardware is networked, communicating real-time information on the battlefield. Imagine if we took 700 vehicles that are networked so that they're all communicating with each other digitally, they're communicating with each other over FM wavelengths. Think of the connectivity we bring to that place and how much better we could support um, the operations that are going on over there and synchronizing those efforts. This is the weapon of the future, and when the Enlos cannon makes its debut, it'll undoubtedly create maximum impact on the battlefield. Leveraging those technologies for that future combat scenario, I mean, we're making our soldiers and our equipment more lethal, and that's what it's all about.